I'm here to um, show you about the King Tiger, also known as the Tiger 2. I, I'm sure you've heard of the Tiger 1. The Tiger 131, the only existing tiger in the world. The Tiger 2 has very thick armor. It, it went against the Sherman, the M4 Sherman, which was no match for this German powerful thing. The King Tiger had an 88 millimeter gun and a 69.8 ton weight for its whole body. This tank was very slow, but it was really good with its armor. It went against the, the British Army very well. The British had no chance but to make better tanks to destroy this. The British Army didn't have guns enough to penetrate the armor of this tank. This tank was so big. It is one of the most uh, biggest tanks in this tank museum. I am in um, um, Bovington Tank Museum. I'm in the UK. So I've, I'm, I'm here to show you the King Tiger. I hope you enjoyed my interview. Bye. Oh, hello. I am here at the um, Sherman tank. The Sherman tank was against the Tiger too. So as I was saying, the Sherman tank is smaller. It has a smaller gun and it doesn't have a good penetrating gun. Its armor was not that strong, so the Tiger II could easily penetrate its armor and go through. This tank was fast, either though the, this tank was very weak. They had to make a better tank. The Germans had already had the Tiger II, which could destroy this thing easily. The tracks are designed especially to go through mud and other things. Hi, I'm, I'm going to show you a German bunker. Most um, armies used um, stone bunkers to prevent bullets from going through. Bullets couldn't go through this thick concrete. This is not real concrete, but in real life, these real bunkers had thick stone to stop bullets. Some were, all, some were used with sand inside of gaps with stone. The sand makes the bullets, um, uh, stops the bullets from going in and stops it from catching on fire and burning. 